We got a video today. The editor told me to tell y'all in advance, if you got anything wrong, let them know so we can clean it up on the next one. But it, it looks pretty clean. It looks pretty clean. I went through, did my due diligence a little bit, not too much, a little bit. Anyway, so we got RJ Hampton, 23 year old basketball player, drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks in 2020. He's now playing for the Delaware Blue Coats in the NBA G League. He started dating TikTok influencer named Tiffany Jeffcoat, 1.5 million followers, some light, some I'm white you know that's gonna go wrong here in a second they got a kid together named halo after about nine months of dating that mean he was probably hitting raw first night going up in it raw i want to feel the real you baby nah we don't need that you know i'm good i'm good you good like let me feel the real you all that bs the relationship eventually went left they broke up when the cheating allegations for both sides tiffany claimed rj cheated while rumors suggested she was getting that back blown out by nfl player named kj henry hitting her with that big long strong bbc they went to family court seems they have joint custody but tiffany is the primary caregiver due to rj's busy schedule i mean i'm not trying to downplay a nigga i'm about to downplay a nigga is the g league that busy like where do you even go watch g league games i'm not a sports guy so i'm legitimately asking i don't know i'm about to call my dad and ask him do you be watching them g league games that'll let me know everything i need to know if you say no i know it ain't about shit uh tiffany posts on tiktok regularly with their son she occasionally throws some subliminals you know upset baby mama got the kid she gonna be talking shit bumping gums nothing worse than the baby mama that's upset trust me they be letting all the info go i have been the ear to a couple baby mamas and they be letting you know where the nigga lay his head at how much money he make what type of car you drive they let you know everything but won't give you his ig or show you a picture of him but you know everything about the nigga it is crazy it be scaring me like what's she letting go about me to this nigga uh on october 7th tiffany posted a tiktok video of her and rj and what looked like to be a hotel lounge in the video rj is verbally abusive saying you know that nigga coming up out of him you know you six four you got a little money 23 you probably done hit anything fine under the sun you can afford to let your nuts hang like that it is what it is rj refuses to pick up his son because he fears tiffany will record him and frame him as trying to take the child away she got the phone out she just waiting she's sitting there like this waiting for you to fuck up niggas gotta know that's in the person for both sides like she knew a dude 23 probably out here cracking everything and he probably knew like man if this relationship go left she gonna turn me into some content on tiktok how do people not be thinking that i don't know tiffany accuses rj of putting his hands on her rj responds who's gonna care <laughs> whoa whoa i mean you know i'm not gonna say i understand i'm definitely not gonna say that who the fuck is gonna about care about that who's gonna care there's who's gonna care bro there are bruises of you know what? i don't even get into that but like, they came from your hands of course they did okay did, did, I, punch, did I punch you did i slap you just because you didn't did punch, punch you doesn't mean that's okay down. wow you supposed to say, man, stop lying. You supposed to say something like that. You ain't supposed to be like, yeah, I did that, but nobody give a fuck about you. Like I went upside your head, cracked a couple ribs, got on my Zach Fox, threw you into a TV. Who give a fuck about you? Your mama don't give a fuck about you. Like that's kind of crazy. 1950s, I say, let it fly. 1970s, I say, let it go. 1990s, early 2000s, I say like, we getting close to that edge. This might come back to bite us, but go ahead and get on that super villain syndrome. Let her know, Syndrome, how, how you how you rocking? Now, y'all niggas playing. If 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 she come out and say he did some DV shit now, and the nigga like, Shh, I did and what? That man does not give a fuck. The same day, Tiffany posts another TikTok claiming she's been stranded in Oklahoma with no car or room after RJ took their son without telling her where they were going and when they'd return. The police got involved after the incident, which allegedly occurred during RJ's scheduled visitation supervised by Tiffany. RJ was angry with Tiffany for going on a girl's trip to Miami. That means she caught some BBC. Leaving their son at her mother's place. Damn. She said, mama, there's somebody down in, in, in Miami. I've been waiting to suck his dick. I've been waiting to feel what he, he need to get this throat, mama. Watch, watch little Halo for me. I'll be back. Which he refers to as thotting it up in Miami. You know... <laughs> I always, no, you know, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a bean. I like when niggas be doing this because you know it's like they act like they don't care about the chick, 
but then they be sitting there low-key slick watching her shit hitting them with the stinky face you know you having the camera on talking your head to yourself like i'm gonna be all right i'm gonna be all right but low-key is eating at you it's like acid it don't burn down the building right away but you start seeing a little inside like you see the beating heart you seeing the niggas ribs and and intestines and shit it's eating at them rj then brought back halo that's the kid once again to the agreed upon time of an 8 a.m to an 8 p.m visitation according to tiffany and he booked the hotel room for tiffany and their son before leaving with his parents so he was like man i came for my son didn't come for you peaced out and he didn't let her stay and supervise the visit like she was supposed to and then tiffany continues to explain the situation to her followers on multiple tiktoks that we will not be looking at here okay i i i, I you know I gander that some of the TikToks are five minutes, two minutes, three minutes. You know, we don't want to hear your side of the story. We knew what you signed up for. Rob, you can't victim blame. I'm not a victim blamer. You guys have to understand. I am not a victim blamer. I'm just, I've just been, I've been the mechanic. I've been the therapist. All right. A lot of times these ladies know what they're getting into. Same with fellas. Same with fellas. But with a lot of these ladies, right, we're not going to victim blame, but I'm just going to tell you some of my scenarios. I'm going to explain it because this isn't a situation that is exclusive to Tiffany. Unfortunately, I have witnessed stuff like this in my own independent research of this. I pulled up. I just typed her name in when the article came my way. It brought me to a Reddit post of a year ago of the same conversation happening now like a nigga or somebody was telling her a year ago like yo this nigga out here throwing dick he in the comments himself arguing with people so it's not like it's nothing new it's 365 days you've been dealing with this why we gotta know about it now you knew what it was when you signed up for it that's i'm telling you y'all gotta work on you you knew what it was you you can't say it all the time like somebody can't be on death's door and you like nigga you knew what it was like you can't stand over a nigga having a heart attack Call a 911 and I need somebody at this resident. Hey bro, you knew what it was. Like you can't you can't hit them like that. But you know, sometimes it's like I like to do it in different ways. Like you talking to them, yo, what's your best friend think about this? How Annalisa feel about the info you told me? They never tell Annalisa. Annalisa never know. I'd be really legitimately curious, like, yo, you telling me some real heavy shit. How does Annalisa feel? Oh, you, you know, I can't tell you that. I got like PTSD talking to some of these ladies, man. Cause they be pulling you into these convos. You don't know you into the combo until you up in there. You ever, you ever see a bug and the bug get real close and you don't know, you don't notice the bug till he right up on you. And then you freak out, jump back. That's what it's like. So a lot of times it's like, it, you would talk to him. Yo, how everything going? Everything going good. It's not going good. Cause trust me, when everything going good, you never hear from him. You never hear from them. Shit, in my life, it been some gone for years. Shit go bad, that's when the phone ringing. I just been wondering how you been. Not good, but what's up? <laughs> there's key words, fellas. I'm telling you, there's key words that be coming out. <laughs> I don't want you to make fun of me. You gonna think I'm stupid. You ain't gonna tell nobody this, right? Who am I gonna tell? Who knows you? Another one. Can I ask you a quick question? I'm scared of that one. Can I ask you something real fast? Can I get your opinion on something? I hear that and it's like, I couldn't eat all day and my stomach still dropped like I gotta take a shit. My stomach be hurting off some of these that I've heard. Cause the stories are so crazy. It's like Princess Peach Syndrome. I be sitting there, I'm like, it. it's like every time I'm like, yo, the antics the motherfucker's doing and what you're describing sounds like super villain Bowser shit. How'd you end up in the castle, Princess Peach? Why is it I'm conveniently walking by me and Toadstool and this story Toadstool is Climax. We walking by Climax saying, yo, Big Rob, you hear that? And I'm like, I hear it, but I'm pretending. No, he said, yo, sound like a woman yelling help. I'm trying to pretend this nigga keeps saying, no, nah, up there, look. And you up in the castle doing this, waving down, pointing. I'm I'm walking, trying to avoid it. Now you throwing shit. Something clipped me in my head. And now I got to go up in there and, and save the burning building. I'm not a dirty macker. I don't believe in dirty macking. I really don't. But some situations, I'm like, I mean, I don't, you know, that don't seem a little off to you. Bro, when, when, when they infatuated with the nigga and you be like, that don't seem a little, man, you hate. You just hate. He getting money. I mean, he very well could be, but like. That don't seem a little weird. Like, that just don't seem off. Then it's always the honeymoon. 
where they flying high. The moment that motherfucker hit a rough patch, sometimes I like it. It all depends on where my mental state is. Like I, when I used to play mechanic and therapist, I let go of all my uh, clients, right? All the clients gone. I can't do it no more, right? It hurts. Sometimes when you letting go of a client, that's when they really let you know how they feel about you. They talk, they start talking to shit. They, they saying to me what they want to say to him. And I'm just, that shit makes me laugh, but I'm like, damn. Like what the fuck I do? Anyways, what I have just the conclusion with this is, you know, it's unfortunate that the kid probably gonna have to see mommy talking shit about daddy, daddy talking shit about mommy, all while being a little biracial bastard and having to <laughs> deal with that in life. Like niggas might say, you know, he too light, niggas gonna hate on him. He too dark, but he got light features. White folks gonna be like, hey, nigga, back the fuck up, nigga. Like they gonna be hitting him with that. That's, that's gonna be a lot for a little kid to navigate growing up, right? Daddy probably, long stroking everything like he long stroking everything mommy let's keep it a bean she she a pretty chick but if shit got hard i don't think she gonna go put an application in at mac or target just saying she probably gonna look for another ball player that's easy with the cash it ain't nothing to him simp all i know how to do is play ball boss one of them niggas they ain't got no problem throwing the little ducats out say like yeah i climb up in it for a bit shorty so what's up with it right navigating that as a little young nigga hey good luck man that's that's the real person that gotta deal with this but as far as how i feel right <laughs> as far as how i feel about how miss tiffany doing she be all right she a soldier she knew what she signed up for i'm telling you a lot of them they know what they be signed up for men and women man men and women i, I, I it's like i'll give you a perfect example i'm on ig yesterday right there's this girl, uh, she got a best friend. The best friend, I can just tell from the repost, she not playing with a full day. Angry, like, be talking about beating up people. The other girl's real sweet. The one, so one girl violent, one girl sweet. The violent girl be making jokes like, man, me and her ever getting a, like, reposting, the sweet girl be reposting it, laughing. Like, if we ever get in a fight, this is how I'm gonna do you. If they really get in a fight, what you think gonna happen? She been telling you how she gonna get down. She gonna throw fists and she ain't pulling punches. It's not Spider-Man, it's Superior Spider-Man. When Ock, Doc Ock got in the body and he was letting them hoes go, that's what she letting you know she gonna do to you. She gonna let them hoes go. So I, you know, hey, it is what it is. Y'all niggas can play therapist if you want, all right? I play therapist a good amount and low key it, it's fucked me up. Like some of the stories I've heard, I'm sitting there, when I was younger, I always used to look at the guy and be like this, like, Becky, you got to get out of that situation. He's, Roderick is so wrong for that. Now I, now I look at Roderick, I'm like, damn, nigga, what else can you get away with? Like, how, how like, I don't want to do this. I'm not saying I want to be a scumbag how some of these niggas are. I don't. But I just be saying, like, last video we said fat niggas, God strong and soldiers. Hey, you got an ally. Fat niggas and women, God strong and soldiers, because they just sit through hell and then complain to you about hell. She ain't got it. I'm assuming she probably got a guy on the side she's complained to. I know for a fact people in her life have told her straight up about this behavior with dude. She chose to ignore. Now she want to run TikTok, complain to TikTok. Nah, here's your L. You know, go ahead and put it right there. Let's make it real nice for you. Wear it. It's fine. It's fine. Like, it, you know, it's not going to be bad days all the time. Just this season. <laughs> it's just like, so you'll be okay. That's how I be feeling about it, man. Like, I be feeling about it. I've just been pulled into, I'm thinking like, man, this is a nice room. The lights get cut off. And I'm sitting here. I'm like, damn, this situation got me more stressed than you stressed about it. Fuck you telling me this shit for? You don't seem to be too bad. You laying down next to the motherfucker. I guarantee since all this shit happened, what's his name? RJ Hampton went over there like, yeah, I was tripping. Man, you know how I get. Little Halo playing in bed, going to sleep. Man, come over here. Man, why you gotta, why you gotta talk about me on TikTok like that? You know what? Uh, it's just sometimes you make me mad. You you was acting stupid too. Yeah, I know, I know. But I I match energy. I'm just I'm just doing what you're doing. If you didn't act that way, I wouldn't have acted that way. You right? You right? Then boom, 20 minutes later, busting them cheeks open. So I'm just, hey, it is what it is. They have figured that out. But anyways, um, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Everybody have a great day. As always, I appreciate you taking time out your day watch my stuff. And I'll see y'all soon.